And breaking news now, a surge in deadly violence across Philadelphia tonight. The city has recorded six new homicides, bringing the total to 361 for this year. Three of those killings happening tonight, and these are the most murders in the city since 2007. Greg Argos is at Philadelphia Police Headquarters with the latest. Greg. And Jessica, we should say that again. Today here in the city of Philadelphia, there have been six separate murders at five different scenes. Right now, we are on track to end the year with about 450 murders, the highest since the mid-2000s. 361. Monday, that is the number of men, women, and children who have been killed, murdered in the city of Philadelphia. This is a terrible situation we in. And that grim, depressing milestone, which now in just early October passes all of the 356 homicides in Philadelphia last year, was matched by what happened outside of this South Philadelphia Lowe's around 1 in the afternoon. That's when Philadelphia police say a 21-year-old employee of the home improvement store shot nine times in the parking lot. The victim rushed to Jefferson Hospital and pronounced dead. They should have tried to take all these guns for these young kids because they don't value life anymore. Unfortunately, Monday's milestone topped by at least five more killings. On 1800 South Corley Street in Grays Ferry, police say a 27-year-old man dead after someone shot him three times in the head around 2.45 Thursday afternoon. Minutes after five, murder 358. A 22-year-old man shot multiple times on the 1300 block of Fanshawe Street in Oxford Circle, medics pronouncing him dead at the scene. Around 6.30 West Oak Lane, 65th and Lambert, a 48-year-old woman and 29-year-old man found dead inside this house. 15 minutes after that, on 800 Brill Street in Oxford Circle, police say a man in his 20s found shot once in the back of the head. Jessica, as for arrests, so far not a single one in any of these six murders. We're live here at Philadelphia Police Headquarters. I'm Greg Argos. CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Greg, thank you.